Hi, I'm Dr. Philip McMillan. I'm a physician in the United Kingdom. And over the past year, I have been focused on research in COVID-19. Our research has been specifically focused on autoimmunity in the disease. Helping you to understand COVID will help you to feel more reassured about the future. One of the points that we're dealing with today is why are infants less susceptible to COVID-19 than adults or elderly people? This is an important question and a very important observation. Both groups are usually much more vulnerable to all kinds of infections, viral, bacterial, and fungal. The elderly group are usually susceptible because they have a weak immune system. As they age, their immune system gets weaker. Infants, these are children who are less than one year old, they usually have a weak immune system because it hasn't fully developed. They tend to get antibodies from their mother in the womb, and they will also get extra antibodies to support their immune system through breast milk. In theory, this group is just as vulnerable as the elderly, and we have seen this pattern in other epidemics and pandemics across the world. What is interesting in COVID-19, we looked at the UK figures, and out of 127,000 people who died, in the over 85 group, these are our elderly, who are more at risk because of immune problems, 57,000 died. But when we reflect on infants, children who are less than one year old, who also have a poorly developed immune system, only two died. That's a very important differentiation. Why would that be so different between the two groups when both are supposed to be just as vulnerable? It leads to an important point that I have mentioned before. There are two phases of the disease. There is the viral phase and the immune phase. In the viral phase, the virus replicates in the lungs and does some damage. But the immune phase is where most of the lung damage occurs and ends up with clots in the lung that prevents you from breathing. What seems to be different is that infants can get the viral phase of the disease, but they do not seem to be as susceptible to the immune phase of the disease. That's a critical difference between infants and the elderly. Why would this be the case in COVID-19, but not in other viral and bacterial infections? Why don't you join us on Patreon for more posts, podcasts and videos that would help you to make sense of medicine.